Good evening, everyone. Just a quick follow-up on my last video about the Argon 1 M.2 case for the Raspberry Pi 4. So, if you watched my video, you might have seen that at the end, um, I was having a little trouble getting a display. Well, after the video, I continued to have trouble with it. And I eventually figured out that the problem I was having was my monitor was not getting detected, and that was because the... HDMI hot plug event was not being received by the Raspberry Pi 4. So if you look at this daughter board that comes with this kit, the rightmost connector here is uh, HDMI 1, and the left one is HDMI 0. And if you look at the leftmost pin here of the connector, that's the pin for hot plug detection. So let me show you a picture of how mine looked when I got it. Wah, wah. So you can probably see what the problem is here. Um, due to some sloppy soldering, that hot plug detection pin for HDMI 1 was getting pulled to ground all the time. So I was getting uh, that. The interesting thing about it is even though it was just the hot plug detection pin for this HDMI 1, the fact that it was being grounded out was also causing the hot plug detection to not work on HDMI 0. So neither of these ports were getting hot plug events. So the good news is I used my desoldering iron and just uh, cleaned up that little solder bridge and now it works. Now everything's working perfectly. My, my monitor, even my 4K monitor gets detected correctly. You know, the resolution automatically gets configured. Everything's great. So um, bottom line, I do, I really like this kit, but um, I'm a little hesitant to recommend it unless you're someone who doesn't mind doing a little tinkering in, t in case you have a problem like mine. And uh, the reason I say that is because when I started searching online for ideas how to fix this, I was searching for kind of the description of the problem I was having, and I found a bunch of other people online who had the same problem with this same kit. And um, for the most part, the I, I actually... Nobody I found online ever found a, a real solution to this problem. What some people did is they they configured the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, OS to just force the hot plug event. So it pretends that it got a hot plug event for HDMI 0. So then when they did that, they were able to get a display. But that doesn't do you a heck of a lot of good because what the Raspberry Pi OS will do if you enable that feature that f that forces the hot plug event, it still is not able to query the EDID of your HDMI display through that that uh, port that has that uh, because of that um, grounded out hot plug detection pin. So I don't know if that's for software reasons uh, that when you enable that feature, the EDID somehow gets disabled, or if it's a hardware reason. You know, maybe that uh, hot plug detection pin getting grounded out was causing some of the other circuitry having to do with uh, EDID detection to also not work. Whatever the case may be, um, the other thing that was a little bit worrisome to me is that a uh, few people I saw online that were having this issue commented that uh, they contacted Argon support and never got an answer. So that was a little concerning to me. So I would say, you know, this is a really cool kit, but uh, buyer beware. If you have this problem, maybe you can check those pins and see if you see if one of them got bridged. Seems like it's an easy mistake to make uh, during assembly. That pin is really close to that shield. Uh, it's it'd be really easy to accidentally bridge that. In fact, I have to say it was pretty difficult for me to remove that bridge. You know, the solder really wanted to stay there. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to give it a shot, but. Uh, hopefully you'll get one that doesn't have a problem and and it's uh, pretty cool. So thanks for watching. I hope that uh, was helpful or enjoyable and we'll see you next time for a keyboard build.